It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. I have to do a weekend update. Big story coming out of Conica Minolta. Could not wait till Monday. Sometimes these stories, when they happen, you got to get it out there. You got to get it into the marketplace because you never know what's going to happen the next day, especially around Conica Minolta. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Conica Minolta is doing something that's so unbelievable. Well, let me just show you. I just got to show you. <laughs> They're into the planetarium business. When I first saw this, I'm thinking to myself, is this like their response to May the 4th be with you? Because, you know, may the 4th be with you, you know, the Star Wars thing, and people say may the 4th be with you, and, and you know, I'm, you know, Kanika, they like to jump right on the last big thing. So they're probably in the office, you know, and, and somebody says, hey, what are we going to do for May 4th? And they're like, what do you mean May 4th? You know, we're having tacos on May 5th, but what are we going to do for May 4th? I wonder, what, what, what should we be doing? And they're like, well, they got the May 4th, and then may the 4th be with you, the Star Wars thing. Hey, we should open up planetariums. I mean, I don't know if that's what happened, but I'm thinking to myself, holy smokes, they're opening up planetariums. I mean, is Conica going out of this world? On this one, I, I believe they are. But ladies and gentlemen, this is some exciting stuff. I mean, I'm not sure how they're going to do this. I mean, there's rumors out there that you're going to go in the planetarium and you're going to look around and if you see a planet, you write it down and then when you when you leave, you, you, tell, you tell them how many planets you saw and they're only going to charge you for the planets you see. I mean, I, it seems to me that they should just charge you one rate and let you see all the planets. They should have like the one rate planet viewing. But I think they're going to do it per planet is what I'm hearing. That seems a little bit complicated, taking managed print services into the planetarium business. But you know, they like to print stuff and they want to carry it to their other deliverables. But this is kind of amazing. I mean, look at this shot. This is the kind of stuff you could get with the Kodaka Minolta camera thing. Hang on a second. Hey, I don't know if you all can see this. I, I got to get up out of my chair here for a second because this is, this is kind of amazing. What, what in the heck is this? What is this way over here, I, ladies and gentlemen? I, you know what? I'm, I got to blow this up because that looks like something that we've all have seen, but many of us do not still know what it is. And it, it, it is. It's the workplace hub in space. They've taken the workplace hub. They put it into the space. It's part of the planetarium deliverable. And maybe that's what's connecting the planets. I mean, I don't even know what, the, I mean, this is like star war stuff. I mean, this is way out there, way past my intellect. But I gotta tell you, I'm just hoping that this is real. I'm hoping that Kanaka Minolta didn't react to the May the 4th be with you because that would be kind of crazy. I mean, they have done these kind of things in the past. Remember the thermostat thing during COVID? Hey, we got to sell the thermostats everywhere in the world. Uh, now nobody really buys the thermostats. So I'm not sure if the workplace hub will do better in space or not. Maybe in the planetariums, this will be a great thing, you know, for, for the workplace hub, a great home for it. It's kind of futuristic. I mean, it kind of blends right in with space. You can see there in that picture. But ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you, this is some breaking news and I'll stay on top of this for you because everybody watching me knows this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo, and I'll see you all on Monday.